All right, what up YouTube? It's Plock the Master Gamer here, and uh, we're back at it with some Fable. I had to remake this video because I actually thought that this glitch was patched, but it turns out that it wasn't. So I'm gonna show you what actually went wrong. As you can see here, haven't even started Wasp Menace yet, and um, we're gonna we're just gonna go to Bowerstone South here real quick. And I want to show you the mini map real quick. I'll bring it up here. You'll notice that there's like a little silver circle. Um, where all of the teleportation points are to like, you know, the next areas like Barristone North, etc. So essentially wherever there's a silver dollar on the map, there's a trigger point that'll take you to the next area. And what happens is, as you can see here, it won't let me into the Barristone North area. There's definitely a trigger point there. Um, however, if I go to the options menu and I do a world save and probably a hero save too, it doesn't seem to matter. but. If I, if I save the game while I'm in the Bowerstone area and then load that same save state, which I did actually a number of times while I was trying to make the, uh, the previous video that I made, um, just because I would get stuck and it was just easier to save and then like reload the, the area. And every time I would do this, for some reason, the silver dollar on the map would appear. So if I bring up the mini map again, you'll notice that the silver dollar is no longer there. It no longer says Bowerstone North. Um, it still won't let us into the area, so if we talk to the guard and we trigger the thing, it still won't let us into Barrowstone North, and the, the silver dollar never actually returns. And the only way to fix this is to, is to leave the Bowerstone South area through any of the exits, and to re-enter, and then the little silver dollar will, uh, reappear. You'll see here, we'll come back in, Barrowstone South, wait for the loading screen, and we'll bring up the mini-map one more time, and the silver dollar is back. So that tells us that the trigger point is there. So we're just going to go back out to the lookout point, and I found it was best to just create the save point outside of here. You probably do it outside of that other uh, Bowerstone docks area, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, you could probably do the save state out there, and it would work just as, uh, just as well. Uh, you just need to have the save state outside of the Barrowstone South area so that when you reload it, the silver dollar isn't gone. I suppose if you did save in the Barrowstone South area and reloaded it that way, you could always just walk outside of the area real quick and walk back in and the silver dollar would return, but that's, you know, of course, an extra step there. And so now we're just back to the glitch part here. And I actually tried this for like 20 minutes and I just could not get it to work. Um, I ended up getting pretty frustrated and just decided to quit. So I'm just going to show the last bit from the last video where, you know, I completed the glitch and, you know, started walking over to the north gates. So as you can see here in the old video, I'm going to zoom into the map here real quick. Uh, you can see that the little silver dollar is actually gone so that when we do finally get to the door, it will not load the trigger point because it is actually just not there. Uh, and again, I'm sorry that I'm not actually going to showcase me actually completing the glitch and actually getting into Bowerstone North. Um, I did actually do it, I just didn't get it recorded, and I'm really not feeling like spending another 30 minutes trying and trying to get this glitch to work again. So you're just going to get the old video, but nonetheless, seeing how I failed and knowing why I failed is going to help in achieving the glitch. And as long as you like see the basic steps as to how it happens, uh, that's pretty much all you need in order to get it to work. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And uh, if you want to leave suggestions for future videos, you know, leave a comment, whatnot. And uh, if you want to see more of my content in the future, make sure you subscribe to my channel. For now, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable the Lost Chapters, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.